Some girls battle their opponents in sports. However, others must battle the stereotypes of traditional femininity during and behind the scenes. To me, femininity is um, embracing who you are, and that includes all the flaws that you have. So a lot of girls struggle to love themselves, and I think that a strong, confident woman is able to look at their flaws and them really embrace them. And when embracing like femininity, women aren't afraid to be different from other women. It doesn't matter like certain aspects of your life. It's your whole life, like sports, education, it's the same. You have to be equal throughout. I have this side of me, how I am now, and then I have my aggressive side of me, which I basically, I don't look like this. I'm in a uniform, I don't have makeup on. I'm ready to go. We see it as like, oh, you have to like wear a dress every day or like wear a skirt every day and look feminine or be feminine, but really it can mean anything. It can, it can mean that. It can mean just being female. It can mean, it can mean anything really. But to me, it means like just being who I am and feeling confident in who I am and my gender and being able to put that like out on the field or in the classroom. It stems mostly from how uh, a female athlete feels about herself. What I notice about being feminine, um, sometimes being feminine is what society thinks you should look like. Many women feel that they are judged for being feminine or are forced to act a certain way because they are a girl. There is like a little bit of like stigmatism, like, you know, oh, she's just a girl playing a sport, you know, she's not going to be that aggressive or anything. There's not really a difference between like you know male and female like sports like they're like just a couple like rules right. and that's about it but i feel like because of like you know the labels of being like a like girl or being like a boy or all that i think that's what really like makes it look like they're so different but they're not hey, whenever i go to the gym and i play in like pickup games with the boys they feel as though they don't want to pass the ball to me because I'm not going to catch it or I'm not going to make the right decision with the ball and I feel like that's not the case. I got my earrings and while I'm playing they're like oh she's just a girl. I mean she's just a pretty girl that's just trying to play basketball but I'm not trying anything is what I do. Women get ready for the day in a variety of ways. Some focus more on makeup while others prefer to just get up and go. Don't really take too much time getting ready. Do a little bit of makeup, but that's really it. I keep my hair in like a puff because like in the basketball season, I'm busy a lot and I don't have time to really do my hair. But when I'm free, whatever time I have, I'll just do something cute. Do it for myself because I feel like appearance is everything. I wear makeup um, almost every day, but I go for like a really natural look, just a little concealer and mascara. I've noticed that sporting events kind of determine how I'm going to wear my hair that day or something. I know like if I'm leaving early for an event, I tend to wear it up to school so that I don't have to redo it uh, before the meet. Female athletes often feel as though they must choose between their femininity or athleticism. I don't. I have to play from a men's tee, and it is very hard for a girl since girls can't hit it as far as men. One time I had a cut across my face. I just kind of like there. People were like, what happened to your face? I had to explain to it over and over again. But it's just like, I play basketball, it's going to happen. Can't avoid it. When I was in third grade, uh, we were out playing recess and we played basketball. And a shot went up and it hit the bottom of the rim and it came right back down to, to my face. My initial reaction was to go over to the side and wipe my mouth. I wasn't sure if I was bleeding. And I, I spit on the ground. I had a teacher, she pulled me off to the side away from my friends and sat me down and she said, you know, ladies don't spit. And she gave me detention. Another time after a game, um, I was the only girl on the field and going through the line, like, good game, good game, good game. Um, like, this one guy at the end of the line spit on me. Like, he wouldn't shake my hand. If a guy can do a split, it's much more impressive than if a woman can do one because we're made to do stuff like that and guys just aren't. It, they would get a higher score for being able to do the same thing that we could do. Many female athletes still struggle with balancing femininity and athleticism. What should they do? Because if you are a female playing sports, don't give up. I almost tried out for the football team my senior year. I wanted to be a kicker. I trained for a year and a half. And if you want to be that girl that goes ahead and tries out for the football team, go for it. Play your sport and build confidence from it and to not care what 
other people think it's a lot easier said than done. But as you get older, you realize that people do view you, you know, whatever views you might have, a lot of people are kind of look at you as, wow, look at that girl. She is confident, you know, look at her rock it out. Don't concentrate too much on the girls around you. Just do what feels right to you. So if you're somebody who would rather wear sweatpants than skinny jeans, like go for it because every girl is their own unique person. Women are forced to live in two different worlds, walking the tightrope between being feminine and showing their athleticism. However, we must question whether there is a difference at all.